A party official said Ivory Coast ruling party may ask President Alassan Uttara to rethink his decision not to stand for a third term after the sudden death of his chosen successor, Prime Minister Amado Kolibali. Uttara announced in March that he would not run in an election in October after 10 years in office and designated Kolibali, his closest political ally, as the IHDP party's candidate. Gone Kolibali's death on Wednesday, less than a week after he returned to Ivory Coast from an extended medical leave in France for heart issues, left the RHDP scrambling to choose a replacement candidate. RHDP Executive Secretary Adama Bigtogo told journalists the party could ask Utara to reverse his decision not to stand. Earlier, two sources said RHDP's leaders had agreed at a closed door meeting late on Wednesday to press Uttara to run again. The election is expected to be the most hotly contested since 2010, with Uttara's victory over incumbent Lauren Gbagbo sparked a brief civil war in which 3,000 people died. Joining us now is Paul Ejime, International Affairs Expert. Thank you for joining us. Quickly, what is your reaction to the permutation that Qatara should go for a third term? Uh, so, thank you. Thank you for having me. But I think um, this was until uh, March, uh, this was what has been in the air that um, Alasha Water wanted to go um, for a third term. But uh, that will go against the national constitution and then uh, against um, what he had already said. That means that he's uh, coming back on his word. But um, uh, that will raise political tension, especially among um, his opponents, including Babo, who has just been um, given conditional release from um, uh, the International uh, Criminal Court. And then um, all the other, uh, uh, Connie and Bedi, there is also uh, Guillaume Soho, who used to be a rebel leader that was signing, uh, siding with him. So it, 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 it would bring division and raise the political temperature in, um, in Côte d'Ivoire. But uh, you know that um, they say that 24 hours in politics is, uh, is a lifetime. But you can only add um, to the um, pressure and the economic, uh, political tension in Côte d'Ivoire. What, what's the prospect that the opposition can uh, take advantage of this situation? What are the possibilities? Well, there's a possibility, but uh, remember that um, in Africa, incumbency plays a major role. Uh, the late uh, Prime Minister is the anointed, was the anointed um, candidate of uh, Ouattara. So he was supposed to use um, the party structure on the ground. But now that is not there, and uh, Alassane will be fighting whether to, to go or not to, to run or not to run. Um, of course, the, but, but the point is that most of the oppositions are outside the country. Uh, Babo is outside the country. Uh, Guillaume Soho is outside the country. Conan Badia, the same thing. And so it um, remains to be seen whether they will be able to string it ar ar around and be able to um, muster the political power to be able to dislodge um, Alas and Watara's uh, uh, political party. Uh, uh, it's going to be a very fierce, fierce fight. And, um, but they should watch it, like you said in your introduction, the crisis from 2010 uh, has cost um, more than 3,000 3, lives. And I think um, they will do well not to uh, go into violence, but at least to, to um, uh, settle, make sure that there is a um, uh, to reduce the tension. And here, I think the international community might want to come in, uh, ECOWAS and uh, the UN and all that. Uh, in spite of them coming in, uh, do you think the election is likely to be postponed? Whether the election will go on? It's likely to be postponed. Well, there, is, there is a possibility. I mean, if the sanction continues, I think um, probably the, the um, uh, most um, uh, sensible thing perhaps would be for Alakan to, to continue for maybe a few months. But that will also, it will be challenged. Uh, some can challenge it in court that um, after 31st of October, he would have uh, run his, um, uh, his mandate. 
and it's no longer uh, a young man. He's now 78. So it's going to be um, uh, a period of tension, a heightened tension, because after all, um, Cote d'Ivoire has been in tension since 2010. And uh, one is hoping that uh, reason will prevail and politicians will come round and be able to uh, make sure that um, it does not escalate into another civil war. All right, uh, Mr. Paul Ejime, International Affairs uh, Sparks, thank you very much for joining us. Thank you very much. Thank you for having me. Bye.